Welcome to the Tobago Keys in the Southern Grenadines of St. Vincent and the Grenadines. We had just arrived and anchored on our 1980 Tartan 37 sailboat holiday after a nice sail down from Beckway. The Tobago Keys are part of a marine park consisting of a few uninhabited islands and lots of pristine reefs for snorkeling. We were eager for a closer look at the sea turtles that we saw swimming all around our boat, so we jumped in for a swim to start our couple weeks in this awesome place. Life is good in the Tobago Keys, and of course, Lindy always keeps me fed with yummy food. What's for dinner tonight, Lindy? Uh, we're gonna have some pasta with uh, baby clams and uh, pasta. No matter where we are, hanging out on the boat in the evenings is a highlight. A yummy home-cooked dinner and a movie is our go-to. But we didn't spend all our time in the water and on the boat. We also made a plan to visit and hang out on each of the five uninhabited islands of the Tobago Keys. We started with tiny Baradol, just next to the turtle sanctuary where we were anchored. Baradol has a cool little peninsula beach, and we hung out with some of our cruiser friends for the evening there. The whole area is stunningly beautiful, and it's easy to see why many people believe that this is the best anchorage in this area of the Caribbean. Check out all the islands of the Tobago Keys, plus the rest of the islands of the Southern Grenadines. And also, the amazing reef surrounding the area that allows us to anchor here and creates the wonderful habitat for the abundant marine life.
Next, we were ready to do some snorkeling outside of the sandy turtle areas. We dinghied out to the coral reefs to check out the fish and other marine life. and everything and there's not a town here to buy groceries at our normal you know day of chores where we go to town to take care of a few things is uh, you know non-existent so <laughs> yeah we're just out here living it up and today we're gonna try to get out to Little Tabac uh, which is this island right out here we're gonna have to go out of the reef and go across some uh, serious ocean in the in the dinghy to get there so uh, it should be kind of a wild ride, but it looks like a really pretty island, and uh, yeah, we want to go set foot on it. So. Uh Petit Tabac looked like an awesome place to hang out for the day. We set out on our dinghies with our boat buddies, Mike and Jen from Sunitas, and Kevin and Cheryl from Leaf New.
If Petit Tabak looks familiar to you, it may be because a major scene from the first Pirates of the Caribbean movie was filmed there, where Jack Sparrow and Elizabeth Swan are marooned from the Black Pearl, and Jack famously says, why is the rum always gone? Look at this. Wow. I like it. Yes. How cool. Very cool. Man, what a beautiful spot. Let's just see the water on the other side here. Let's see if we can find a spot to get through the brush and go check it out. even more secluded than the ones on the other side <laughs> of the secluded island. Wow. And by the trade winds, all gnarled up, neat. Well, there we go. Now we've seen most of the uh, whole island. It's really cool to be on a small island like this and just walk all around it. <laughs> <Ooh. laughs> nice. Just a little storm. We've said it before, but the best part of cruising is the friends we make and the fun times we all spend together. We had an awesome afternoon hanging out on Petit Tabac, where we found out that Mike is famous for building arches out of various things that he picks up off the ground. And Kevin pulled down fresh coconuts from the trees, chopped off the top, and made drinks for us all. Oh, oh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Let's get some oohs and ahs. I can tell you for sure that it just doesn't get any better than this. Good friends, stone arches, and coconut drinks. What a day. We hope you enjoyed this episode of part one of our time in the Tobago Keys. Stay tuned for the next episode where we find the best snorkeling spot in all the reef and complete our goal of hanging out on every one of the islands in the Keys. Do something cool, Mike. Do something cool. Oh! <laughs>
Were they not?